morning, church. It's so good to be with you today. My name is Aubrey. I am part of the high school ministry. Today we are in Proverbs 19. Now there are so many nuggets you can pull out of this chapter, truly, but today I want to focus on two verses, verses 20 and 21, and they say this, listen to advice and accept instruction, and in the end you will be wise. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Both of these verses have a very similar theme, and that is surrender. Surrender to um, someone outside of yourself, right? This, this first verse talks about listening to advice and accepting instruction. And the only way truly to do that, right, is not asking yourself for advice, getting advice from yourself, but, but bringing wise counsel in, into your life. One of the ways in my life that I have heeded instruction is going to the dentist for my F6 month cleaning. I really don't like the dentist. It's not my favorite place. I've never had a bad experience, but there's just something about it. Every time I see it on my calendar and I pull up to the dentist's office, I just get anxious. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. But I also understand the importance of it, right? I grew up doing that and then I also know the instruction and advice when it comes to taking care of your teeth is that if you go in for a six month cleaning, you're generally being proactive instead of reactive. And I don't want my teeth to fall out someday. So in that way, I have heeded that instruction and advice um, the same way that we are, we are called to do that when it comes to life, when it comes to um, our spiritual life. And the thing about this, about, about um, submitting to another person's instruction or advice, trusted person, I should preface, is that sometimes it's hard to hear. Sometimes it can be painful. Just like just like at the dentist where some procedures can be painful in order to make the, um, for the better outcome, right? In order to have healthy teeth, sometimes there's some pain involved. The same is true of heeding instruction and advice. We are gonna get instruction and advice in our life that that hurts to hear and we don't want to follow. And yet the author of Proverbs says, in the end, if you do these things, you will be wise. And I don't know about you, but I want to fall in the camp of wisdom. I always want to be more wise than I am today. And the second verse 21 is this, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Um, once again, submitting to something other than yourself. Um, I have a hard time with this one. I like planning and I'm a good planner. And so submitting my plans to the Lord is not an easy task for me because I have, pl I have plans A through Z. I know exactly how I want things to go. And um, I know the one year, five year, 10 year plan, right? But the hope in this is that, um, gosh, God is just so much better and higher than we are, right? His ways, the scripture says, are so much higher than our ways. And when I struggle with what's happening in my life or if my plans are not being um, are not being followed through but God's plans I always come back to his character and I know that he is good and faithful and loving and kind I know that he holds the whole world in his hands which means he holds my life in his hands and so actually this verse instead of causing me sometimes some frustration actually there's so much freedom in it to go I can make my plans and I believe that God wants us to make plans I believe that God blesses plans. He's a God of peace and not of chaos, right? But we also have to hold those plans and surrender to him knowing, God, I'm making these plans with the limited knowledge and understanding that I have. I know your knowledge and understanding is eternal. And so this is what I want to happen or what I think will happen. But ultimately, God, I give you control. And when we do that, the, give the handing over of control, it can be one of the scariest things we do. Um, but there's also so much freedom in it because the God that we so he's a good father and a good friend and he holds us he holds us close um, and so we don't have to worry about how things will end because we know that he has the ultimate victory we saw it on the cross um, and that still covers us today so friends be encouraged that listening to advice leads to wisdom and that even though we have so many plans God's plans prevail and because he is good they are good plans. They will fall in line with his character. So God be with you today, friends. Have a wonderful day.